Ozark Trail Cup Part 2. Here's my lids. The uh, paint stripper didn't work to take the lining out, so I burned them. Just built a fire and burned them. And uh, then I just carved two, two pieces of wood. I'm actually going to cut these a little shorter, maybe. Um, left over from when I made my spoon. And, uh, but there they are. And, uh, like someone commented, I didn't even think about it. But make sure you put, I did the strainer just like the, the, uh, Stanley pot. But make sure you do put a vent hole in it because these fit inside the cup and they seal so well that if you were to boil water in there without a vent, you'd build up pressure and blow that lid off. That wouldn't be good. And as you can see, this one takes a lot to get off. This one is not so much. Well, as you know with a paint lid, if if you want it to be a little looser, all you got to do is just take a, a wooden dowler or something and then just kind of work it around the ridge and you'll pinch this part together. Uh, go slow so you don't kink it, but you know, it's a that's the pressure fit into a kink pan is what seals it. So if you close that up a little bit, you can adjust how tight they fit in there. But there they are. There's my there's my lids for the Ozark Trail cup. And I'm told, now the GSI cup, the cookie thing fits in, or fits over, that those little coffee cookie things, the sticks. <coughs> And uh, the reason they don't fit the Ozark Trail is this lip on the Ozark Trail is not as tight as the as the uh, GSI cup. So that's why the lids just don't quite fit these. So I'm assuming that because the inside diameters are the same, and I don't have a GSI to test this, but I'm assuming that this one quart, one quart paint can lid will work the same in a GSI and most likely an Ollie camp. But I don't have either one to test that. So if uh, any of you guys that watch this video have a GSI or an Ollie, if you could uh, get out, dog. if you could get one of these lids and, and show us. It'd be kind of nice to know. Watch a bushcraft